Now, Rod McKenzie runs policy and public affairs at the Road Haulage Association and joins us live. Afternoon to you, Rod. Hello, Pat. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Now, traditionally, your members have been targeted, as we know, by migrants in Calais. Has that died down completely or is that still going on now? No, it it continues. Uh, As as I often say with this problem, it is very cyclical. So one week we'll have a lot of activity, the next hardly anything. It's it's very hard to predict. Uh, As the report said, it's sometimes linked to good weather. Uh, And, of course, one of the problems we've got at the moment with fewer freight vehicles uh, making the cross-channel sailings does mean that the, the the kind of the sense of desperation i think um has increased uh, with with the migrants they feel they have fewer chances so therefore they must take however slim or however dangerous the chance they get to uh, try and cross the channel we've been sent a video by one of your drivers which appears to show migrants deliberately standing in the main road in France, trying to stop the lorry. How dangerous and frightening is that for your members still? Well, it's terrifying. And, uh, of course, we we note that these migrants are desperate people in a very bad situation. However, lorry drivers are doing a very valuable job of work, bringing us the things we need in Britain. And they, like everyone else, has a right to do their job uh, without, uh, you know, without fear. And that is precisely what these people are doing. They're putting, if you like, an emotional pressure on a lorry driver to stop for obvious reasons so that other people can then take advantage of the situation to stow on board, uh, thus committing an offence. And that's this is not right. We've, got, we've had reports recently from Dunkirk um, where the area has been reasonably quiet until uh, a charity set, out, set up a, a handout group. And this, of course, uh, encouraged a lot of migrants to uh, gather at Dunkirk, and it has become increasingly dangerous uh, for lorries to operate in the Dunkirk area as a result of that. Is you, uh, do you think there's more desperation from migrants, which stems from the fact there are fewer volunteers out providing food in Calais, uh, be, as a direct result, I guess, of the COVID pandemic? I, I, it would be hard for me to comment authoritatively on that, to be honest. Um, we know that there is a level of desperation, whether that's to do with the facilities available to them in France, I, I really couldn't say. But on coronavirus, what part of your members been playing in keeping Britain moving during the crisis? Well, it's been an absolutely vital role because actually the one thing that hasn't failed for, for us in this country has been the supply chain. Yes, of course, we ran out of toilet rolls in the very early days of this, but that was about people panic buying, not about the supply chain. So actually, in terms of food and medicine and the other essential things we've needed, those uh, supply chains uh, run by absolutely heroic uh, lorry drivers has has been essential. And they too are worried about their health and they, they're, they've been worried about uh, social distancing and toilet facilities and a variety of other problems they've had to deal with. But what a marvellous job they've done for us all. Rob McKenzie from the Road Haulage Association, thank you for being with us.